Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. So let's learn to avoid some common flutter mistakes that would prevent your app crashes. Why is important? It's because you have to have great user experience and you want the user to use your app again and again. So here, one of the worst error that is not handled by many flutter developers that is async operation. So over here, as you can see that I have this API request which is an async operation, but we are calling it directly inside a method. So what's the catch here? In fact, you should call it within try catch block so that you can catch the error and handle the error. This way, it would prevent unnecessary crash. Next, our heavy methods, our heavy build methods actually, which causes the UI to be slow. For example, over here, you see that I have text widget and actually it's calling inside an API. Now this could cause unnecessary rebuild of the UI. So you don't want to do that. You want to separate to a simpler widget and then this would call or get the data and render the text for you. So never ever call API directly from your UI. And then you could also be able to use const so that it can help you optimize the performance. And then the other mistake, which is uh, blocking the main thread. So as you read a file, actually, you don't want to read it within the main thread. You want to separate it. And how to separate it? Actually, you could do it easily in Flutter by just calling a function, which is called compute. And reading the file, you can put inside compute, and you're good to go. And your main thread would be very smooth. And another common one, which I used to have, now I don't have, it's called, if you use a stream subscription or any kind of text controller where you listen to events, you register it. But a lot of time we forget to dispose it. So disposing it actually very easy, calling it within, within the dispose method. But this avoids memory leaks. Because I've seen many times this actually causes the app to crash if you run it for a long time without disposing the uh, subscriptions or your text controllers. Next, overusing of global variables, and which is a very bad idea. You don't want to overuse global variables. You don't want to overuse global variables. Rather than actually you can use some state management. In this case, it could be provider. Okay, so have a, have a provider in your main. And then use the service of this provider and call the necessary method so that you don't have to overuse them globally. Next, skipping the test for platform specific. The idea is you may develop your app for Android and iOS both, but actually you should check or test your app on both platforms so that they don't crash. So avoiding crash is actually very easy if you just follow these steps. Most of the crashes should be avoidable. Anyway, so here, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.